and we are live. SFM. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <clears throat> Got an FM too. Hey, you never know. But anyway, <clears throat> we're about to get into this about this rich man. All right. In old Babylon, there once lived a certain very rich man named Arcad. Arcad, rather. Far and wide, he was famed for his great wealth. Not not because he was rich for his great wealth, which made him very rich. Also was be famed for his liberal liberality. He was generous in his charities. He was generous with his family. He was liberal in his own expenses but nevertheless each year his wealth increased more rapidly than he spent it and there were certain friends of younger days who came to him and said you our cat are more fortunate than we you have become the richest man in all Babylon while we struggle for existence. You can wear the finest garments and you can enjoy the rarest foods while we must be content if we can clothe our families in remnant that is presentable and feed them as best we can. Yet, once we were equal, we studied under the same master. We played in the same games. And in neither the studies nor the games did you outshine us. And in the years since, you have been no more an honorable citizen than we. Nor have you worked harder or more faithfully in so far as we can judge. Why then should a fickle fate single you out to enjoy all the good things of life? and ignore us who are equally deserving. I think they're looking at the picture wrong. They should be asking him, what is he doing far as, or how he is doing, what he's doing, teach them what he is doing so they can get a better understanding of who he is and what he's about and see what they are about that's different than what he's doing and then start the experiment by using some of his mind state, using some of his methods, using some of his formulas, his ideas, his perception, you see? Making some of his moves. Thereupon Arkin, Remonstrated with them saying, if you have not acquired more than a bare existence in the years since we were youths, it is because you either have failed to learn the laws that govern the building 
of wealth. Or else you do not observe them. See that? Govern the building of wealth. You have to know the laws on how to govern the building of wealth. You have to know the laws of building. The laws of wealth. Then you got governed right after that. You got to know how to maintain it. You have to know how to manage it. If you got a check and three days later you broke, you not being a good governor or governing of your economic base. Then it, right, right after that, it got building. You have to know how to build from the ground up, not from the top down, because you can't even build like that. <laughs> but some people get the roof, you know, and they ain't got the bottom or the sides and wonder why they fall to the bottom. See, you got to fake it till you make it. Why you got to always fake it till you make it? Who are you trying to impress? See, I've, I've never really been on that fake it till you make it thing. I would rather be myself. I would rather be reality of what I'm going through. And that will also show me far as the individuals around me in my environment, in my circle, they're going to show their true colors about me. You see what I'm saying? And then sometimes I, I may hold back, even though I can be at a another step up or two or three steps up, I'm just preserving, being patient, but it's showing me how people will be talking and how they think, oh, you ain't got this. Oh, that's why it is. And, you know, they get disrespectful sometimes. They think like they the big hunt, Joe. You know, they think like you don't know nothing. You, They think that uh, you ain't got nothing of value or worth to bring to them to the table that could make them even more valuable or, wor or, or worth worthy. You know, of worth, you know what I'm saying? So if you, you find out a lot of things by not even faking the funk. When you fake the funk, you, you get a lot of false friendships. You see what I'm saying? Them same people be like, hey man, they cool with you. And they may even know you faking the funk. You know what I'm saying? But they all cool with you to get what they can get out of you. You see what I'm saying? But when you don't fake the funk, those same ones, they ain't trying to be around you. You see what I'm saying? So they can get what they can out of you because you you more on a real basic level. And then they most time they don't think you got nothing so they can uh, use you uh, uh, for or get out of you anyway. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know about that faking the funk till you get it. I would rather drive around in whatever car I am I can afford and own instead of being in something I got to bust my butt off for and work hard for. Don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it, uh, pass it down to a family member or, or one of my children. You know what I'm saying? Even if I'm going to be able to drive it next year, I like to look at something and know that it's mine. I put the hard work into it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I purchased it out of my hard-earned money, me, to own. If I want to throw that bad boy off the cliff, <laughs> I could throw it off the cliff with no uh, pushback but far as for what I was had purchased it for. But see, it's best to only purchase things that you're going to have a use for. And then they'd be like, well, you're not using that now because I've already used it for that purpose, but it's mine. I own it for life. So if I have a purpose for it again, I can use it for that purpose without having to acquire it again with my hard earned money. You see what I'm saying? Let's keep going. It is because you either have failed to learn the laws that govern the building of wealth or else you do not observe them. Opportunities come right in your face, but you do not observe them. You do not see them. You do not move out on them. You think um, you may be thinking you're not worthy to uh, of it. Somebody walk up to me 
in a nice car. I may say, hey, how you doing? Nice car. But shoot, sometimes I may be like, man, what I need to do to get that? Where do you work at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just my mood at the time. I ain't scared to do it at all. You know, or, or they got a, a business. This a black owned business? For real? How, how do I, I, I like to sit down with you and find out how you did this, if you don't mind, one of these days. I've done that many a times. You have to be active in the realm of acquiring what it takes to get those things. You, if you, if It's like looking at a TV screen and all you do is look at the rapper with the gold on and the cars on and the women on and you never sh go into any action to find out how to acquire them. But you just going off of how you think you're supposed to acquire them and then wonder why it don't work out the same is because you have not pricked that man's brain or that woman's brain. You need to go and find somebody in that realm that you can prick their brain to really find out what's really going on. So you can get to the root of it, not just go off of what you think. Well, these rappers got cars and houses and necklaces. Yeah, a lot of them in real estate. They own houses that's paying for that mansion, big old mansion. They got some of them got dealerships. They got they 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 selling cars to pay for the Rolls Royce up in the in the the um garage there. Yeah, they got all the women around them because they they got money making money. They they got streams and in, of income coming in all kinds of ways. They got sponsors. How many sponsors you got? You ain't got no sponsors, but you supposed to be on going toward that level. But you ain't even look to try to find a sponsor. You hear him talking about it all the time. I, he lost his sponsor and this and that. But you don't even have a sponsor. How do you acquire a sponsor? There's a lot of things that you can acquire a sponsor for in um, things as far as activities and events, even in your community that your uh, local Walmart or grocery store will sponsor and for for you to make, bring it into fruitation. And mo sometimes you don't even have to bring nothing out of your pocket. It's just you have to have the right mind, plan, and to, how should I say that? You have to have the right plan to bring it into fruitation you you know you, you can't just go up to them and look like i'm gonna be doing this and that and i'm gonna need you, would like you to be the sponsor for me no you dress the part show them show them what you're doing you may have some videos you may have a, a website this and that let them see what you're out there doing that's like that's why obama didn't do too much for the black community because the black community wasn't going to their presenting him with some things to press him to to help them out with they just going up there with the hand open obama i know you're black and i'm black you know i hope you help me out no man look this is what i'm doing boom 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 this the community is positive this is going to have a great impact on the community this even make you look good as a president and if that bad boy turned that type of stuff down yeah he deserves some heat not you just come to him hey man got an idea i want to open up a amusement park in the city will you will you sponsor it <laughs> no it don't work like that you have to show you have to bring them impact you have to get when they look at it be like wow amazing okay let's keep going they're upon our cab Remonstrated with them, saying, if you have not acquired more than a bare existence in the years since we were used, it is because you either have failed to learn the laws that govern the building of wealth or else you do not observe them. Fickle fate. Fickle fate. What is fickle? 
one minute you want to do it, and then next minute you 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 doing something else. You ain't you ain't really got no solidarity about what you're about. Fickle fate is a vicious goddess who brings no permanent good to anyone. On the contrary, she brings ruin to almost every man upon whom she showers unearned gold. She makes wanton splint spenders who soon dissipate. Dissipate, 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 dissipate all they receive and are left beset by overwhelming appetites and desires they have not the ability to gratify. No gratitude. Yet others whom she favors become misers and hoard their wealth fearing to spend what they have, knowing they do not possess the ability to replace it. They further are beset by fear of robbers and doom themselves to lives of emptiness and secret misery. That's why we have so many ghettos in our community. The ones with money don't know how to um, make that money, make more money, which is a problem. And the ones who do get money, they spending all their money before they can even do something with it. Producing ghettos. Others, there probably are, who can take unearned gold and add to it and continue to be happy and contented and contented citizens. And the problem with them, they don't teach the other parts of the community how to do what they're doing. That's their problem. But so few are they. I know of them, but by hearsay. Think you of the men who have inherited sudden wealth and see if these things are not so. His friends admitted that of the men they knew who had inherited wealth, these words were true. And they besought him to explain to them how he had become possessed of so much prosperity. So he continued. In my youth, I looked about me and saw all the good things there were to bring happiness and contentment. And I realized that wealth increased the potency of all these. Wealth is a power. With wealth, many things are possible. One may ornament the home with the richest of furnishings. One may sail the distant seas. One may feast on the delicacies of far lands. One may buy the ornaments of the gold worker and the stone polisher. One may even build mighty temples for the gods. One may do all these things and many others in which there is delight for the senses and gratification for the soul. That's wealth. So why are you? I know I, I was on a um, poker face today and this dude got upset because I was listening to um, brother Chris Cole on stocks and talking about money, man. Well, nobody want to hear nothing about no money, man. So I turned it off and then I said, let me see. I'm going to turn on my music and play and see if he have anything to say. The bad boy didn't say nothing. I practically played every song on my, uh, my, uh, website. Bad boy didn't have nothing to say on that. But when it comes to talking about money, he got miserable. You know, sometimes when you don't have money or you ain't got money problems, if you ain't got the right mind state, you just don't even want to talk about money or hear somebody talking about money. Why is that? It seems like you will have a more finer ear of wanting to talk about money or learning more about money, learning more about how to acquire money, money making money, 
acquiring wealth. Wealth. Not just money. Wealth. Wealth is something that you can pass down from generation to generation. See, money, if you can stack up your money, be scared to spend it and all that because you don't know how to make no, too much more. But once it's all gone, that's that's it. Wealth. You got to acquire things like land, real estate, long term investments, things of that nature, things that produce income. You want something that can fill your bank right back up if you was to take some out of the bank. But see, they keep it in the bank because they don't know or have not took the time or uh, due diligence to learn how to acquire streams of income to replace that income that they take out of their bank. And that's the problem. And you must learn that or you're going to always be in a fear mind state that you're going to lose everything. If if you know somebody about to bring you a uh, thousand dollars every week. OK, with no problem. And you got money in the bank. And then all of a sudden you had an emergency and you had to take eight, ten thousand out. You wouldn't be in fear of that's all I got because, you know, you have more income coming in. See, most people think the only way you can have more income coming in is through your energy of work. That's not true. You don't have to move and make the same amount of money that you have acquired through work as far as putting your energy, your physical body through the pressure and stress of bringing that about. You can do that with your mind. You can do that with just sitting at your desk. You can th do that with just being truthful with your talk about your service, about your purpose, about what your gifts. There's many people out here that have the same gifts that you have. Skills and service that you have, but they may be on a lower level than you. You think they wouldn't pay you? To, to gain what you already have acquired through experience and time, putting it in over the years. You had, man, I, I've been doing this for like 50 years, man. They just getting started. You think they don't want the shortcut? They will pay you to get what you know so they don't have to take that long, hard work of acquiring. That's income. That's value. That's worth. And but most time you acquire, you go to work for 20, 40, 50 years, you get out and you retire and you got all that big wealth of knowledge and it just goes and dies off with you. And the children coming up most time didn't get too much of nothing. Or the people was preventing them from getting anything. Plotting on them not to get anything. Plotting on them to kill them so they don't get anything. Some of them getting it, but it's going to take time. But you have it already boxed up and wrapped up. But don't give it back. You know how they say, if you leave the city or whatever, make sure you bring something back to the city. Well, you right there in the city acquiring experience skills and knowledge and wisdom power and force and experience at your job but you're not giving it back what's the difference there is no difference i know if a man go and start being a carpenter and he's been in carpentry for 5 10 20 years compared to a person just coming in he's coming in as a laborer he don't know how to put up no sheet rock he don't know how to make no teas he don't know how to lay the foundation he don't even know the uh sizes of the the, the the wood he don't know how to cut wood he don't know how to even hammer right man the bad boy hammer he don't even know the tricks of the trade 
But he, if you was to give him that education, it could be through a book. It can be through video demonstrations. You don't think he would pay you that? Then happen to go the long route to do that. He can start fixing up his house. He can go on out and start a business. I know people that go on them jobs, carpentry jobs and things of that nature. And they be up in there about four or five years. They didn't learned enough and gained enough knowledge. Then they, boom, they out starting their own thing. But why didn't they do it from the beginning? Because they had to acquire the knowledge, the experience, the How should I see it? Acquire the education, acquire the tricks of the trade. It's like shooting a basketball. You've been you 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 the you the all you the um all American of the of your state. You know you know how to dip through the through the lanes. You know how to read the players. You know how to pass the ball correctly you know how to bounce the ball correctly you know how to shoot the ball correctly then you got this new guy coming out on the court man he can't even make a layup ain't nobody teaching him and the one that is teaching him they teaching him a slow route so they can use him to make money off of him but if he had the same knowledge and wisdom understanding power and force that they have man they ain't gonna be able to use them like that so you let you allow people to come into the community your own community use your children use your people get paid off of them practically raping them with the money they get out of what's going on because most time they just sitting around telling them this now you just do that don't think don't think just do what i tell you to do get now I go over there pick up the wood and bring it over here boy basically so it take him all this time taking all this humiliation all this bull crap from these people just to learn the trade just to learn the skills so he can go to the next level when you right there at home retired you ain't even working no more you just watching tv going here and there on your your 401k your retirement fund, you, you get your payments coming in, you know, a month. And you just full of knowledge ain't doing nothing with it. What sense did that make? Let's keep going. And when I realized all this, I decided to myself that I would claim my share of the good things of life. I would not be one of those who stand afar off enviously watching others enjoy. So you you are like a booster to to bring into the mentality of the people envy and envy is the mother of murder. So a lot of these children are getting murdered because they have been boosted with the mentality of envy because you are being too selfish and giving them the wealth of knowledge that you have or have acquired to for not them to be envious for them to be full of with of wisdom to be happy and be able to be prosperous with but by you not sharing, you scared you're going to lose your money. It, it ain't even really about the money. It's about what you know. Because anything that you've acquired, it took what you knew to get it. Ain't nothing just popped off, the, fought, fl fell down in your bank account or in your wallet. You had to know something or, or do something to acquire. But you're not giving back to the youth. And you wonder why they out there inside your house all day, every day. Pop, pop, pop. Oh my God, another mama crying, no dad around, another brother dead, another sister dead, another father dead, and you just over there in your house, cocked up with your, your legs up until it come to your door, until it come in your door, see, 
when you ain't had to let it come to your door in your door because all you had to do is go out your door. And if you're too scared, I ain't about to go around them crazy um, niggas. You know, they, 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 you can do, you can start you a course online. Don't matter if you only got one person you teaching. That's one person with, without envy in their heart to kill somebody. That's one less person coming knocking at your door or kicking in your door. Huh? As far as I'm concerned, I will, you could write a book and, 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 and when somebody come here, I, 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 I'm, I ain't got time to be talking to you about it, but here's my book and hand out your book or let them know, look, I got a book that can show you how to do all that. And they'll purchase the book. But man, you ain't even made the effort to, to take away the envy. So they watching. You got the tool to turn the envy to happiness, but you're not doing it and wonder why the kick in your door. Ain't nobody fault. You have to look in the mirror, but yours. Now you're doing what you need to do. Then you need to just be letting more of them look, man, I'm doing my part <clears throat> to make these babies joyful. So they don't be coming up with no guns, kicking in those and shooting each other. And I see you over here, Clarence, with your legs up, ain't doing nothing, you know, drinking and smoking or whatever you're doing. You're going, washing your car, shining your car up with your nice clothes on, smelling good and rolling around the neighborhood, you know, you know, talking with your other buddies and this and that. While the baby's around y'all and you ain't giving them nothing back. And they looking at you, man. And you're feeding that brown germ of envy. And you wonder why you got hit upside the head and, and robbed. You have to give back. That is a part of tithing. You think you only post the tithe inside of the church? Well, I gave my ties. I'm, 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 it's all good. No, you don't just get no ties in the church and, and think that's all good. I'm going to be prosperous. You will be even more prosperous if you tied back to your community. It's not that part of God. It's not the community part. It's not them, the children of God. If you go to giving tie to the church for God's blessings and to be prosperous and, and secure and things of that nature. How much more would you think he would do for you if you did for his children? Now, let's look, look, let's look at this now. We got a we got a war now. You got the children in the house, the woman in the house, and the man in the house. It's a war popping off. Who going to go out there and protect the babies first? Hopefully it's the man, right? Not the, and then most likely be the woman and then the children. So what's the line here? Who, who do they see as more valuable to live in that time period? It's the children, right? It's the children. But you go and tie to the church, to the father, as the most of worth, and roll right past the children. Well, God don't need nobody, see. But aren't you here? God don't need nothing that you give to him like you give to him either over his children. He really don't have no need for you but your prayer. Not really the tithing. So if it came down to it, would you would it seem like you would rather get a tied to the children or the community over the church? Oh, uh oh. I'm getting to somebody church today. Now it's another story if your church is doing for your community, is doing for the babies. Now you give it to the church. And the church ain't doing nothing for the community or the babies in the area. You got a problem. 
you need to check that church, check the head of that church. Because look, man, I could have gave these to the babies to God's children of the most high because I came and gave it to you and you ain't doing nothing for the babies. See, I just want to put that out there. Let's keep going. On the contrary, I will make myself a guest at a banquet of good things. Being, as you know, the son of a humble merchant, one of a large family with no hope of an inheritance and not being endowed, as you have so frankly said, with superior powers or wisdom. I decided that if I was to achieve what I desire, time and study would be required. What do you say? It was needed to be required, needed to be required. Time and study. Look, man, you didn't put all the time in, studied all the books, you didn't read all the books, you didn't put put the books to work with time. Wealth, wealth of it, and you're not giving back. What sense did that make? As for time, all men have it in abundance. Hmm. Ain't that so? You, each of us, have let slip by sufficient time to have made yourselves wealthy. Yet, you admit you have nothing to show except your good families of which you can be justly proud. As for study, did not our wise teacher teach us that learning was of two kinds? The one kind being the things we learnt and knew. And the other being the training that taught us how to find out what we did not know. Let me say that again. As for study, study now, did not our wise teacher, not don't care teacher, I'm just here for a paycheck teacher, and we are the future, but you just over there sitting on your, on your tail as if you don't need to teach us nothing. And you just here for a paycheck and you want to kick me out of the class and, and tell me to get out the class. Not that teacher. Our wise teacher. Did not our wise teacher teach us that learning was of two kinds, not one kind, but two kinds. What what are the two kinds? The one kind being the things we learned. What have you learned since you've been on the planet? Take a minute and think about that. What have you learned since you've been on the planet? Since you came out of your mother's triple darkness portal womb into this existence. Hmm? What have you learned? Have you learned something that is valuable? The one kind being the things we learned and knew. And the other being the training that taught us how to find out what we did not know. So you learned some. You knew some by, you know. You just knew it. Instinct. Watch. It. Didn't have to pay for it. Seen other people go through it. All that. And the other, you had to put some training to it. You had, you had to do some exercises. You had to do some study. You had to get some steps, you know, training. You got to build something up. You just, it, don't, it ain't going to come to you like that. You got, you got just like some muscles. You got to put some time in it, put some effort in it, and you got to build it up. You can't get it all at one time you, unless you want to give have a brain um, aneurysm or something. You got to build your muscles up in your brain. Let it cool down. You know, give it a break. 
cool down, meditate, chill, enjoy yourself for a while. Then train you some more. Don't they do that in the school system? They train you for a little while. Then the bell, bing. Then you go some more training. Then the bell. Then you do some more training. Then the bell. But see, that's on a cons and they do it on a consistent basis. Some go through the whole summer. Training. Training. Training you. To do what? Obviously to do something. Most time to be a slave at the job working for some man who ain't going to give you nothing. Don't care if you can maintain your family, let alone yourself. And when, and when they see you, they don't even see your family. They All they see is you. They don't see your family you maintain. They don't see your mama that you want to take care of or maintain. They don't see all the other people that you help in the community and giving out time to and, and love to and things of that nature. All they see is you. And they don't even want to do for you. That ain't right. And the other being the training that taught us how to find out what we did not know. Therefore, did I decide to find out how one might accumulate wealth? And when I had found out to make this my task and do it well, when I found out, I made it a task. I want to train myself consistently like they, you know, they do in the school. Make it a task so I can do it well. You know, you don't want to just, can you do it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can do it. Now, I don't want you to just do it. I want you to be able to do it well. Okay. I, 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 I guess I can. I got to stay at it to do it, do it well then. You're going to have to do it well to keep me around. <laughs> you can't just do it. You got to do it well. You got to know what you're doing. Four, is it not wise that we should enjoy while we dwell in the brightness of the sunshine? For sorrows enough shall descend upon us when we depart for the darkness of the world of spirit. I found employment as a scribe in the hall of records in long hours each day I labored upon the clay tablets week after week and month after month I labored yet for my earnings I had not to show nothing to show all them weeks all them months and got nothing to show for it Man, you better do for yourself first. First, split off for your savings or in, in savings and investment money. I got might as well put both of them in, on the same shelf. Savings and investment money. Then with your money, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you putting in them weeks and months. You got your savings and your investment money. And then you got your money. <laughs> Because that's your money too, but you mean your other money then, your money. And then after that, you can get your money. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So if it ain't if it ain't in that, uh, if your money ain't going in that direction, in that uh, path, there's a problem. Mayday, mayday, I think he's going to be going down soon. Mayday, mayday. May they get, get the MLMs ready. <laughs> You're going to be going down. Because your body, you, you can depend on your body, but man, sometimes your body may just let you down, man. You know, and you may be young, but you ain't going to be young forever. That back may pop or something, you know. <laughs> them, them, ankle may, them, ankles may, them ankles may give on you, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell, your mind may even go, 
wandering around somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you don't want to totally depend on your body. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I got a Kobe body, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm fully alert and it's, it's ready for action. <laughs> hey, man, I just seen some of the best of them, man. That bad, that bad boy made that turn. <laughs> that bad boy was down on the ground like, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. You know, even out on the football field, you know, tough. You're tough. Rough. Not running through them, knocking down but them beatings, man. You know, I have seen the best of them. They was running through all of them, you know, like a train. Do, 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 do. You kept on running. You know what I'm saying? Don't beat down. Sometimes you can see it in one game. You know, you be running, going through them real, real good. But then when them beat down, start wearing them down, man. You know, they, they hit, that's when you hit a fumble. <laughs> That bad boy going to fumble, you know what I'm saying? That bad boy may drop the ball. <laughs> he may even get pulled out on a stretcher, you know. <laughs> that, 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 young, that young buck come up in there all full energized, and he might have been bigger, but shoot, he full energized, muscles still up the par. That bad boy stick him one time. That's a wrap. <laughs> that bad boy stuck. They ain't call him stick him for no reason. That bad boy gets stuck right there where he at. He gets stuck in that position, fall. <laughs> He gets stuck in that position, falling like, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can't totally just depend on the physical, okay? Got to get it together. Week after week and month after month, I labor. Yet for my earnings, I had nothing to show. Food and clothing and penance to the gods and other things of which I could remember now what. <laughs> you know, almost I, I, I didn't remember where I, I was putting some things. You got to record it, man. You got to have your asset side and your liability sides. Ain't, ain't, it don't, it don't take much to know how what you got coming in and assets. They done made it easy with the credit cards. If you can't figure it out, put it on, get everything done on your credit card so you can know where your money going. Okay. Just don't deal with the cash unless you uh, have to. Okay. Because if you you spending money and you don't know where you <laughs> wait a minute, man. I had 700 in my pocket yesterday and I'm counting my money and ain't got but $322. <laughs> and you don't know what you did with it, man. You best to get you a credit card. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, I wouldn't say credit card. Uh, uh, you can call it a credit card, debit card, whatever it is, just so you can use your money that you have already acquired. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't talking about going using somebody else's money, talking about I'll pay you back <laughs> with some more hard work. No, not that money on the card. I mean, your money on the card, your bank card or something like that. OK. So food and clothing and penance to the guys and other things of which I could remember, not what absorbed all my earnings, <laughs> absorbed it, man, soaked it in like a sponge. You know what I'm saying? That bad boy just sucked it up. That's why you wonder why they call them blood suckers. All your sweat and blood, they suck it up. All your sweat and blood money, just suck it up. And you ain't got nothing to show for. But my determination did not leave me. And one day, Algamish, the money lender, came to the house of the city master and ordered a copy of the ninth law anybody know what the ninth law is mm. let's keep going the ninth law and he said to me i must have this in two days and if the task is done by that time two coppers will i give to you now, if you do this in two days, then I'll give you your two coppers. So I labored hard. But the law was long. And when Algamish returned, the task was unfinished. Oh, man. You did all that work and then don't even get it, man. Mm -hmm. He was angry. You angry. You angry. <laughs> he was angry. And had I been his slave, he would have beaten me. But knowing the city master would not permit him to injure me, 
I was afraid. What you afraid of? He ain't did nothing. He ain't lifted an atom. Sometimes you ain't perfect. Like I can see if you done it and done it. Obviously, it's your first time doing it. Then it may not be your first time doing it. So I said to him, Algamish, you are a very rich man. Tell me how I may also become rich. And all night I will carve upon the clay. And when the sun rises, it shall be completed. Boy, that was kind of slick. That bad boy said, look, man, I'm going to even, I'm going to go all night. Long as you told, long as you, if you only tell me how you became rich. <laughs> that bad boy said, I'm at least get something. If I don't get my two coppers out of it, <laughs> I'm at least, I'm at least find out how to be rich. And, and, and shoot, at least I got a, a, a goal upon a goal so he if he finish he gonna get the two coppers and how to become very rich so you know maybe if he don't finish in the morning like man you know well i take one copper and you just tell me how you became rich <laughs> you know what i'm saying put 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 as many ways and options as you can of acquiring things for future tense Tell me how I may also become rich. And all night I will carve upon the clay. And when the sun rises, it shall be completed. He smiled at me and replied. He replied. You are a forward naive. But we will call it a bargain. All that night I carved. The my back pain. You ever worked when your back is pain? Mm. You you ever you ever worked on a job and you and, and your body is trying to shut down and you just and you ooh man and you and you that's that's like put you on a whole nother level when your body want to go to sleep and break down and you doing everything you can in your mind power to keep up and you get through it. I, mean, I can't explain that type of stuff. I don't know if you have experienced something like that. Like, you, it's like your body really where they shut down, and you just and you get and you, your mind is so in control of your body it won't shut down. But that take a lot. And that night I carve, though my back pain and the smell of the wick made my head ache. Working with a headache. Now that's a that's a man for you. Working when he's sick, working with a headache, working when his, his stomach hurting, working with back pain, might have some other pain on his body, but he works through it. He goes through the pain. He goes through the struggle. Cause he know it ain't about him. That ain't weak. That's hard. Until my eyes could hardly see. But when he returned at sunup, the tablets were complete. Now, I see it. Tell me what you promised. You have fulfilled your part of our bargain, my son. He said to me kindly. And I am ready to fulfill mine. Look at him. Wealth and knowledge. He did all that back pain, headache. I can barely see out his eyes for this knowledge. He said to me kindly, and I'm ready for, to fulfill mine. I will tell you these things you wish to know. Something that he did not know. You know how you have a wealth of knowledge. You so, you so rich with knowledge. You just hiding and you ain't telling nobody about it. Shame on you. What is you afraid of telling them for when you so rich with knowledge? What are you afraid of? I thought you was a man. I thought you was a strong woman. Because I am becoming an old man. And an old tongue loves to wag. And when youth comes to age for advice, he receives the wisdom of years, not wisdom of the day, 
not donkey of the day, <laughs> wisdom of years. That's what you need. Wisdom of years over the donkey of the day. But too often does youth think that age knows only the wisdom of days that are gone. And therefore, profits not. They profit not. Let's say that one again. But too often those youth, them youth right around you, think that age knows only the wisdom of days that are gone. Not about wisdom of days of the present, wisdom of days to come. You want a time machine? That's your time machine. You want to know what the lottery numbers, picks is? There it is right there. And therefore, profits not. Because you think it's just wisdom of yesterday. Oh, he, oh, he don't know nothing. He can't tell me nothing. He could tell you about something that you don't even know. That you ain't even came into fruitation about tomorrow. With your egotistic silly tale. Young buck. Let's keep going. But remember this. The sun that shines today is the sun that shone when thy father was born. And we still be shining when the last grandchild shall pass into the darkness. Mm. This this wisdom that 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 uh, uh, that he has is wisdom that goes back to when your father was born, man. <laughs> this this wisdom goes back to when your father was born, okay? And this wisdom that I got will be still here after your grandchild goes into the ground. Hello, what kind of wisdom is that? And, 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 and you the youth, you let them walk by you all the time. You let your lottery pick walk right past you. Oh, you don't know nothing. You wonder why they separate, want to separate the youth from the elders. You walking right past the, your, your, whole, your whole lottery ticket, man. You just walk past your, 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 uh, your shortcut to get your, your house. You just walk past your shortcut on getting that car you want. You just walk, walk past your shortcut on how to get what you need to maintain that girl you've been checking out. And your boy is over there getting the edge on you on. You just let them walk by. See? The thoughts of youth, he continued, are bright lights that shine forth like the meteors that off make brilliant the sky. But the wisdom of age is like the fixed stars that shine so unchanged that the sailor may depend upon them to steer his course. So you can't depend on the meteors. I know that bad boy was over here yesterday. I, I don't know where you. <laughs> where is where is um uh, where is my son? I, uh, he was just over there in the corner. I don't know where he. <laughs> I don't know where he went. I think he might be around the corner somewhere. <laughs> I seen him go. I seen him with him, some other ones just a couple seconds ago. <laughs> she, you don't you don't know where. I I can. I can't use that as no uh, Siri. <laughs> you can't use that. That you can't use that one as a Siri, boy. That's that Siri is all over the place. Oh, uh, where where do I go, Siri? Siri, are you there? <laughs> God dang, Siri, you are you 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 <laughs> you you ain't got no service. <laughs> you ain't got no service because Siri to move. You, it ain't that you, it ain't that you, it ain't that you, it ain't that your Wi-Fi messed up. <laughs> That's dang Siri that took off. Siri that took off in a whole nother direction. <laughs> she, she, you, you in the wrong, you in the wrong spot to catch Siri. That young Siri. <laughs> you, 
you got to get one of them old series that's that's gonna be more dependable. <laughs> so, hey Siri, which way do I go? Oh, go, go, go to two miles forward, and then make a then make a right, baby. You see, you gotta get one of them old series. <laughs> you get one of them you, them young series, man. You, you may you may not get a pickup for two or three days. <laughs> God damn, that's that series disappeared. Missing in action up on that man. <laughs> man. Man, why you didn't make it, man? Man, man, my phone wasn't work. My phone wasn't working. Siri been gone for like three days. God damn. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I'm cracking myself up today. Okay, let's keep going. But remember this. <laughs> the sun that shines today is the sun. That shone when thy father was born and will still be shining when the last grandchild shall pass into the darkness. The thoughts of youth, he continued, are bright lights that shine forth like the meteors that off make brilliant the sky. But the wisdom of age is like the fixed stars that shine so unchanged. Steady course, steady, that the sailor may depend upon them to steer his course. You see, that's what wisdom is. Know the course. You see, if you ain't made a course, if you ain't walked the path, man, and you talking about you a leader. <laughs> man, you ain't even made it off the block, man. I don't even know where this bad boy can go totally left, man. <laughs> This bad boy can go totally left or totally the opposite direction. You ain't went nowhere yet. But see that one over there? See that man right there? Up on top of that hill? He up on top of the hill. That's where I was trying to go. See, I don't know where you going. <laughs> you may fall off the hill. You know what I'm saying? You may start tumbling backwards. He already there. You know what it's going to take? You don't know where it's going to take. He know what's the easiest path. He know what may be hard. Especially one what see, you don't want to go that route because, see, if you go that route, it's going to be hard. And when I, I figured it out, see, if I would have went that way, because I because this part of the going up the hill, I had to go around two or three times. He said, he's like, no, I'll do it again. I'll so I had to do it again, you know. I didn't get it the first time. And then I did it the second time, and then I'll do it again. So I had to do it the second time, and then I got it. I got it, man. I got it. And and, and you know them them type of spots on the hill. He didn't been through all them type of spots on the hill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you ain't even made it off the block, man. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with that wise one on top of the hill. And he's still living. See, I don't know. You may not make it. You might. You might make it almost there, man. Then, then you fall out. And oh man, no, no, man. I would rather go with somebody that's already didn't did it. You know. Mark you well, my words. For if you do not, you will fail to grasp the truth that I will tell you. And you will think that your night's work has been in vain. Then he looked at me shrewdly from under his shaggy brows and said in a low, forceful tone, I found the road to wealth. When I decided that a part of all I earned was mine to keep. I think we hit on that earlier. Bingo. Need a bell go off up in this bad boy. Matter of fact, I got one. Let's see if we see here. There you go. Yeah. A part of all I earned was mine to keep Woo. and so will you 
Then he continued to look at me with a glance that I could feel pierce me, but said no more. Is that all? I asked. <whistles> Bow. <laughs> Bow. He said, is that all? I asked. That was sufficient to change the heart of a sheep herder into the heart of a money lender, he replied. But all, all I earn is mine to keep. Is it not? He said all he earned is his to keep. He don't have to give nobody nothing that he earned. Who told you you got to give somebody your money that you earn? Well, I need that for this and I need that for that and I need that for that. See, I, I walk wised up to it. I'm like, look, I can cut back on this. I can go without that. I'm a soldier. I've been through hard, tough things. Yep, I did that. It wasn't that hard. So, yeah, I can go. I, I, I can. Yep. Ain't nobody gonna hold me back from being. I can do cut back on that and that. And I, and what's that? More mine. If it's more mine and not nobody else's to enjoy, then it's more I can do with what is mine. But all I earn is mine to keep. Is it not? I demanded. But look what he said. He didn't say all mine. He said all apart. If you really want to do it right. Far from it. Woo. He replied, do you not pay the garment maker? Woo. Do you not pay the saddle maker? Do you not pay for the things you eat? Can you live in Babylon without spending? Drop the bombs now. What have you to show for your earnings of the past month? What for the past year? Food. You pay to everyone but yourself. Dullard, you labor for others like a slave. As well, be a slave and work for what your master gives you to eat and wear. If you did keep for yourself one-tenth of all you earn, how much would you have in 10 years? So just one tenth out of every dollar, 10 cent. Out of every hundred dollars, ten dollars. Out of every thousand you make, a hundred dollars. Out of every ten thousand you make, a thousand dollars. So if what he's saying, if you make 10, that's a th that's a thousand. Twenty thousand a year. That's two thousand. Thirty thousand a year. That's three thousand. Sound like your income tax. <laughs> that's my income tax. No, that's your other money. That's your other money. Okay. That's supposed to be your other money on top of that money. Okay. That ain't you know, that you know. I ain't, I ain't going for that. That's my income. See, I, that that's that's my income money. Foul. That ain't what it is. That was already your money. Somebody got to hold your money. So because you can't save your own money out of what you earn. And you and you take that as your savings. You messed up. Fool. You pay to everyone 
but yourself. Did they have to wait to to uh income tax come around? Hmm. To get their money? No, they got their money right away. Did Jordan for them Jordans? Did he have to wait till the end of the year, the next year, income tax to get his money? No. Nike? No. McDonald's? No. Domino's? No. None of them had to wait till the next year to get their money. But you want to have to wait till the next year to get your money. Uh-uh. It don't work like that. You pay to everyone but yourself. Dullard. Your, you labor for others. As well, be a slave and work for what your masters give you to eat and wear. If you did keep for yourself one tenth of all you earn, how much would you have in not one year, ten years? Oh man, we all up in your, we all up in your stuff now. Look at that, all up in your stuff and stuff. See, ten years. How long you been working, man? I've been working twenty years. How much you make a year? Let's go add it up. Go get your pencil and paper. We'll wait. How much you make a year? Well, my stuff is fluctuates. So I can understand that out in this world. But on a, how much you didn't made in all your years then? Okay. 10% of that is what should be in your bank right now. And if you invested it to double your money, it should be more. So why is we so po? Why is we always talking about we broke? We ain't loving ourselves. We ain't we ain't loving ourselves. We not loving ourselves, family. Mm, mm, mm. A foolish people. My knowledge of the numbers did not forsake me. And I answered, as much as I earn in one year, you speak but half the truth, he retorted. Every gold piece you save is a, is a slave to work for you. Ooh, that's only half of it, baby. That 10%, that 10%, is your money, but that's only half of it. The other, the other half of it is that money supposed to be working for you. Ooh -wee. Mm, mm, mm. Every copper it earns is its child. So your money supposed to be having some babies. You supposed to be having some baby boomers. Man, you over there, they got you on population control, man. Your 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 babies ain't even ain't even got no babies. They they die, your baby, your babies die before they can even be made. Oh my God. They got us in some population control with our money, man. This is part. <laughs> ain't no baby boomers with the money. Ain't no baby boomers with the money, man. They already didn't got population control with the money. Before you can make the money, one of the money, the money is already, the money already did. Mm -hmm. and, and, and really, it's it's below it's below count. Ooh -wee. That's a foul. That's a foul on yourself. That's a foul on ourselves. For real though. You speak but half the truth. He retorted. Every gold piece you save is a slave to work for you. Every copper it earns is its child that also can earn for you. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Not just you babies. This babies making babies. You, your baby, your, your baby dollar is supposed to have some. Some babies and your baby 
dollar babies supposed to be having some babies too. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> filing, we filing ourselves. So you supposed to be having some grandbaby dollars, man. Grandbaby dollars. <laughs> Man, we ain't even got no baby dollars, man. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. Population control with the with the with the with the dollars. Population control with the dollars. You see that today? Hmm? Do you see that today? Ain't even got no babies. God damn. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Let's keep going. Then what you save, wait a minute, let me let me let me go on back up a little bit. Who was on that copper? Who was on that copper? Man, I've been rolling. Big time. Okay. Every copper it earns is its child that also can earn for you. If you would become wealthy, wealthy, then what you save must earn and its children must earn that all may help to give you the abundance you crave. Hmm. Uh -huh, that's right. You think I cheat you for your long night's work? He continued, but I am paying you a thousand times over if you have the intelligence to grasp the truth I offer you. See that? You see what you see? What, see what see what we get in the day? Thousand times over. A part of all you earn is yours to keep. Not all a part. That's all it takes is a part. You don't need all. You don't, you ain't got to be greedy and just take your money, lock it up. And no, a part of all you earn is yours to keep. It should be not less than a tenth, no matter how little you earn. If anybody got to wait for their money, it should be them and not you. Well, we're going to have to make a payment plan. You don't make a payment plan with yourself. No, you pay yourself. The payment plan go to them. Well, I get, I put it on the uh, layaway. You know, you're putting yourself on layaway. I put myself on layaway, you know. I give myself part of it today and then on my next check, I give it that other part and the other part. No, uh -uh. other way around. They go, look, I got to make a payment plan with you as far as anything. You know what I'm saying? A part of all you earn is yours to keep. It should be not less than a tenth, no matter how little you earn. If it's four dollars, you bet that four cent is yours, man, to make some babies with. Make some babies now. You know how black folks like to go on and get around, you know. Get around, get around with them dollars and have some babies. See, that's the that's your problem. You don't know how to you don't know how to get around with your babies to have babies. <laughs> you don't know how to get around with your dollars to have some babies. You scared to have some babies by getting around. That's now if you want to get around, that's when you need to be how you need to be getting around to have some babies with them dollars. Have some babies having some babies. See. Get out of that population control, economic population control. You think I cheat you for your long night's work, you continue, but I am paying you a thousand times over if you have the intelligence to grasp the truth I offer you, and me too. A part of all you earn is yours to keep. <clears throat> it should be not less than a tenth, no matter how little you earn. It can be as much more as you can afford.
pay yourself first. You first. Do not buy from the clothes maker. Sean John. Oh. Gucci. Make sure make sure the black ones first over the Gucci. <laughs> Gucci, 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 Gucci. Gucci, 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 Gucci. No, it should be first, 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 first. Clothes makers and the sandal makers, them Jordans. That's Jordans. That's the, that's the number one, Jordans. Then you got the Nikes and the Reeboks, Pumas. Mm -hmm. More than you can pay out of the rest and still have enough for food and charity. Uh-oh, wait a minute. And still have enough for food. You know how we'd be going without food? That is sad. Can't even give no, can't even help nobody out. And penniless to the gods. Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. Do not buy from the clothes makers and the sandal makers more than you can pay out the rest and still have enough for the food and charity and penitence to the God. So you're supposed to be doing for others, paying your tithe or what you need to, to the God, whatever name you want to call them by, and get your food. And then you can pay you pay you, you pay that electric bill. You pay that water note. You pay that rent. You pay that insurance and all them type of things. You see the method, you see the pattern, but where are we at today? Man, if I can go out on the street somewhere and just to pay my rent, shelter over my head. Way off. The shelter is the God. Wealth, like a tree grows from a tiny seed. The first copper you save is the seed from which your tree of wealth shall grow. The sooner you plant the seed, the sooner shall the tree grow. Don't wait. I'll wait next week. I'll ne wait next month. I'll wait next year. You may not make it to next year, next month, next week. Start planting and doing, saving something for yourself now, for your future, for your babies, man. So your babies can have some babies. You know how many babies your babies could have had babies within a year? You want your babies like them gremlins, man. <laughs> you want some babies like gremlins, man. You want them dollar bills like gremlins, bro. As soon as that bad boy touch something. Of wealth, of gain, it just <laughs> popping. And the more faithfully you nourish the water, that tree with consistent savings, the sooner may you bask in the contentment beneath its shade. You want the shade, but you don't want to plant the tree. You want the car, but you don't want to do for yourself first. You see the, the car more valuable than you. Wait a minute. You more valuable than the car. You more valuable than the gold you're looking at. You more valuable than anything somebody could acquire in this world. You are more valuable. So when somebody come up to you and think they better than you, uh -oh, think they better than you because of some gain that they have acquired in this world from the same father that you come from and think 
they got something more valuable than you. They didn't file. Did you hear me? They got that Rolls Royce. They got that Corvette. They got them robot dogs. They got that big, nice mansion theater. And they see that. And then they look at you. And they think that what they have possessed more valuable than you, then they didn't file. And you should not let nobody see nothing that they have possessed as more valuable than you. For you are more valuable than anything anyone on this planet can acquire for wealth. In its truest state, not saying that's how people look at you. I just want to make it clear. So when you see those type of things, you don't feed into the envy. You don't feed into that satanic mind state. You see it for what it is. Okay? For you are more valuable than anything that you see with your eyes. You are more valuable than anything you can touch with your hands. You are more valuable than anything that you can walk on with your feet. You are more valuable than anything that you can hear with your ears. And you are more valuable than anything that you can speak to with your mouth. When you really know it. For the solidarity of it. Okay. Somebody say you broke. You you trash. You ain't nothing. You ain't shit. Fuck you nigga. You ain't shit nigga. <laughs> you, know, you know how that stuff go. Fuck you nigga. You ain't shit nigga. You lit him up. You bomb motherfucker. You know how they start talking all that craziness. You ain't nothing man. Get the fuck on nigga. Oh, they did to that. Who the fuck is you? And then you know how some of them they they be they be wise on that. Who the fuck is you? <laughs> you you know what I'm saying? Two guys arguing with each other. Who the fuck is you? Who the fuck is you? Both of y'all guys. <laughs> that uh, y'all just over there entertaining each other, basically in the ignorance. Let's keep on going. Wealth, like a tree, grows from a tiny seed. The first copper you save is the seed from which your tree of wealth shall grow. The sooner you plant that seed, the sooner shall the tree grow. And the more faithfully you nourish and water that tree with consistent savings, the sooner may you bask in the contentment beneath its shade. So saying, he took his tablets and went away. I thought much about what he had said to me. See, you see a book, but see, wisdom, they, you know, people write wisdom and knowledge and experiences into a book from out of their head. Okay. You don't think they could have wrote more? But you see the book and you pick up the book and learn from the book. But the book still came from somebody's mind. Experience. Why don't we not see that wealth of knowledge, wisdom, power, understanding in their mind more valuable than that book? You should. Okay. 
man, you don't got you so you, you ain't got nothing but a uh, you you know nothing but a you, you more deader than a uh, uh, a box of nails. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well if, if if that's where he's at far as that book, you know the book is. It's a book, but ain't no writing. <laughs> That's another story. He just ain't, he just haven't acquired the ink for it yet. <laughs> but he's still valuable now. So saying. Yep, so saying. He's still valuable. Well, I can tell you what I've been through so you don't have to go do and be a, a, a deader than a box of nails see he could still write a book and you can still learn from to be totally honest so saying he took his tablets and went away i thought much about what he had said to me and it seemed reasonable so i decided that i would try it each time I was paid, I took one from each 10 pieces of copper and hid it away. And strange as it may seem, I was no shorter of funds than before. I noticed little differences as I managed to get along without it. But often I was tempted. As my hoard began to grow, to spend it for some of the good things the merchants display. See, that's what I'm talking about. Let them think what they want to think. You ain't got to fake the funk, but you ain't got to let them know what's in your hand either. Let them think what they want to think. Show their faces. Brought by camels and ships from the land of thee. Phoenicians, but I wisely refrain. A twelfth month after Algamish had gone, he again returned and said to me, Son, have you paid to yourself not less than one tenth of all you have earned for the past year? I answered proudly, Yes, Master, I have. I, my baby's been having babies. We booming over here. That is good. He answered, beaming upon me. And what have you done with it? I have given it to Asma, the brick maker, who told me he was traveling over the far seas and entirely he will buy for me the rare jewels of the Phoenicians. When he returns, we shall sell these at high prices and divide the earnings. Every fool must learn, he growled. But why trust the knowledge of a brick maker about jewels? Hmm? A brick maker about jewels? Would you go to the bread maker to inquire about the stars? No. By my tonic, you would go to the astrologer. If you had power to think, your savings are gone. You've, you have jerked your wealth tree up by the roots but plan another try again and next time if you would have advice about jewels go to the jewel merchant if you would know the truth about sheep go to the herdsman advice is one thing That is freely given away. But watch that you take only what is worth 
having. He who takes advice about his savings from one who is unexperienced in such matters shall pay with his savings for prove, proving the falsity of their opinions saying this he went away your fault and it was as he said for the Phoenicians are scoundrels and sold to Asmer worthless bits of glass that looked like gems but as Algamish had bid me I again saved each tenth copper for I now had formed the habit and it was no longer difficult see it was a habit after 21 days you should have no problem it should be getting easier again 12 months later Algamish came to the room of the scribes and addressed me. What progress have you made since last I saw you? I have paid myself faithfully. I reply. And my savings I have entrusted to Agar, the shield maker, to buy bronze. And each fourth month, he does pay me the rental. This is good. And what do you do with the rental? I do have a great feast with honey and fine wine and spiced cake. Also, I have bought me a scarlet tonic. And someday I shall buy me a young as upon which to ride to which to Algamish to which Algamish laughed you do eat the children of your savings <laughs> then how do you expect them to work for you hmm hmm and how can they have children that would always, that will also work for you? Huh? First, get thee an army of golden slaves. Golden slaves. Army. And then many of rich banquet. May you enjoy without regret so saying he again went away nor did I again see him for two years when he once more returned and his face was full of deep lines and his eyes drooped for he was becoming a very old man. Hast thou yet achieved the wealth <gasps> thou dreamed of? And I answered, not yet all that I desire, but some I have and it earns more. And its earnings each earn more. And I do. You still take the advice of brick makers? About brick making. They give good advice, I retorted. Arker, he continued. You have learned your lessons well. You first learned to live upon less then you could earn 
Next, you learned to seek advice from those who were competent through their own experiences to give it. And lastly, you have learned to make gold work for you. You have taught yourself how to acquire money, how to keep it and how to use it. Therefore, you are competent for a responsible position. Responsible position. I am becoming an old man. Them three things you need to write down, put it up on your wall. You remember what three things is? First, learned to live upon less than you could earn. Second, learn to seek advice from those who are competent in their fields of experience. Third, learn how to make your money, make money. He said gold, but it could be stocks and bonds. It could be crypto. Okay. It can be precious metals. Okay. You have taught yourself how to acquire money, how to keep it and how to use it. Therefore, you are competent for a responsible position. I am becoming an old man. My sons think only of spending and give no thought to earn it. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, put the music on. My interests are great and I fear too much for me to look after. If you will go to Nipper and look after my lands there, not land, lands, I shall make you my partner and you shall share in my estate. Man, I could have been wealthy when I was younger. I didn't even see what I had. <laughs> I was, uh, and what was I? Shoot, I was like 20. Man, I could have been doing some big things about now, man. But yeah, I didn't see it. See, it's what you see. So I went to Nepur and took charge of his holdings, which were large. And because I was full of ambition, and because I had mastered the three laws of successfully handling wealth, I was enabled to increase greatly the value of his properties. So I prospered much. And when the spirit of Algamish departed for the sphere of darkness, I did share in his estate as he had arranged under the law. That's contracts. Make sure you get some contracts. Don't just go off in the word of mouth. Look, you go do this for me. And I'm going to get it. No, man. <laughs> no, -uh. no, man. Where the paperwork? Where are the papers? We're going to need some papers and some documentation. We need to get a not notif notification. Notar we need to get it not notarized. <clears throat> See, I'm, I be up on this stuff. I'm I, I'm a notarizer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, should I say I'm 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 a student of notarizing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was learning so much, but I'm like, man, that ain't it. Don't even cost much to be the notarizer. You get the license. Let me go on and get that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shoot, better ask somebody. I be asking them questions. I'm like, man, why did you become how did you become a notarizer over here at this business and you ain't even at downtown? Well, this is what I did. did it. And I went and I moved out on it. Got my stuff up up in here now. She and you know, I, I need to update my license, but I ain't even I ain't even dealing with that right now. But that's something that I know I can be can be done because I've already accomplished. 
See? Just like that. So, spake Acre, our cat, and when he had finished his tale, one of his friends said, you were indeed fortunate that Algamish made of you in here. Fortunate only in that I had the desire to prosper before I first met him. For four years did I not prove my definiteness of purpose by keeping one-tenth of all earned. Would you call a fisherman lucky who for years so studied the habits of the fish that with each changing wind he could cast his nets about them? Like knowing where they they be in the shade, knowing where they at when tides turn. Hmm? Them tricks, tricks of the trade. You you couldn't pay for that out of your time. You was out there all day. <laughs> couldn't get one fish. That bad boy went over that where they at in the shade and threw the net and got them all. You look and and you know how that make you look. See. Opportunity is a haughty go goddess who wastes no time with those who are unprepared. Opportunity is a haughty goddess who wastes no time with those who are unprepared. I ain't got no time for you. That's like a woman. You ain't prepared. Ooh, she walked right by you, man. You was like, hey, baby. She, 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 she ain't even say nothing, man. Ooh, you wasn't prepared, man. You got to be prepared. She ain't even look at you. Ooh, man. Dang. That's just like opportunity. Walk right past your tail. If you ain't prepared, you didn't see it. Walk right past you. God, dog. You had strong willpower to keep on after you lost your first year sales. You are unusual in that way, spoke up another. He didn't give up. At first you don't succeed. Dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again. See, 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 look at Ali over there giving back to the community. You had strong willpower to keep on after you lost your first year's savings. You are unusual in that way. Spoke up another. Willpower. Willpower, retorted Arcad. What nonsense. Do you think willpower gives a man the strength to lift a burden the camel cannot carry? Or to draw a load the oxen cannot budge? Huh? Huh? Willpower is but the unflinching purpose to carry a task you set for yourself to fulfill me. The man on the hill told me how to get up there. I'm going to get on top of that hill. Okay. If I set for myself a task. Be it ever so trifling. I shall see it through. How else shall I have confidence in myself to do important things? Should I say to myself for a hundred days as I walk across the bridge into the city, I will pick from the road a pebble and cast it into the stream? I would do it if I said I was going to do it. <clears throat> Seeing the pebble and I said I'm going to kick it. So I kicked. I ain't going to see a, 
I'm walking and I seen the rock and I say I was going to kick it. Then I don't kick it. I'm going to kick it. How petty it look. I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You may want to start out small like that to get your word and your mind and your body together. Walking down the street, you see a rock coming up. I'm going to kick that bad boy. <laughs> you walking down the street now, you see that rock come coming up close and close to you. As soon as I get up on this bad boy, I'm going to kick it. You ain't got to kick it or bust nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you had already put it in your mind. I see it down at the end of the street there, the road, and I'm going to kick it. I see that tree over there coming up right there by me. As soon as I get to it, I'm going to pull that leaf. You may want to start out with little things like that. But let's keep going. Throw it in the handful and be done with it. No, I would not say that nor do it. When I set a task for myself, I complete it. Therefore, I am careful not to start difficult and impractical tasks because I love leisure. I'm not going to start nothing out. I'll, I can't keep my word to and work. have to work my tail off to do it. So I'm, I'm careful on that because I love my leisure. I know it's going to put me in a discomfortable position. I may not, I may not do it. See? Because I love my leisure. And then another friend spoke up and said, if what you tell is true, and it does seem as you have said reasonable, then being so simple, if all men did it, there would not be enough wealth to go around. We're going to come back right there, fam. We're going to take a break. I, I usually been and took what? Dang. <laughs> I, I usually been and took about four breaks right here. But since we ain't took no break and we about kicking two hours on this bad boy, fam. We've been going on. We're going to complete it. See? We're going to complete it. I'm going to pause and give y'all a little break. Give me a little break. And I'll uh, play some of this new music. That I done put up on my uh, website that y'all most likely ain't even heard yet. You see what I'm saying? We at 218, family. 218. Half the day. I know there's there's people out there getting uh got like a million plays and views, and theirs for the within a day is like five, six hundred. Well. I'm half a day now. And they got millions. And man, I heard some of them bad boys with the million play million plays and views on the sites and things of that nature. Got the, the albums up there and stuff, man. Well, let's just say if they got a million, I, I should have a billion. <laughs> I ain't, ain't going to even lie, man. If they made a million, God damn. This bad boy going to be hitting a billion on this bad boy. Easy, easy, easy. I ain't even lying. But see, I don't know their works and what they're doing behind the scene, but um, I sure ain't half stepping, I'll tell you that. So we're going to go and go down here and show you a little bit. See, we got got them coming on up on here. We put them on there. Now, now don't get me wrong. Now, we're going to put it on the... Uh, the profile when you come in view see this is what you see when you come in on the site you see what i'm saying i'm, I'm over here helping people sell their products over here too see see that what you know about it see and um over here i have mine that you can buy in certain in certain stores now they open it up for some of the the rest of them. They still working on the deals over there. My team working on it, getting the rest of them. But most of them got at least Apple and Amazon. Some of them Spotify. They didn't got into Spotify, and um, as well. So, but them the main major three: Apple, Amazon, Spotify, and YouTube Music. You can go to YouTube Music if you got the uh, subscription. And you can uh, check it out on there, too. And a lot of the other ones, like Tadal and everything. But you have to have a subscription. But 
you have a subscription you can go you can pop me up i'm gonna pop up right over there on on, on that subscription show sure is and ain't no doubt about it i'm working on getting the albums together as you can see down here a few of the albums that i'm getting working on right now is the fast lane the unbelievable gonna be a minute and the responsible gonna be a minute and they're gonna be some of the newest albums and then i got marvelous right there and i got redemption last time i only dropped marvelous and digitized i ain't even put digitized on here yet but um <clears throat> yeah these was all the other ones i was prepping in the background y'all ain't get to see after them bad boys hit me up like and blew me up tried to blow me out in the third world country <laughs> but but anyway we here today all right we here today that's what count and we're gonna start out with this real man and i may just scheme through them a little bit so uh you can hear more of them skim through them that's the word skim through them so uh let me uh get this set up here for you all right all right all right all right so let's get started family we're gonna take about a 10 minute break so we'll come back well we could just take uh four minutes we'll come back at one o'clock well i'll give you 10 minutes give you a little break mental break i know we've been going hard so i'll give you 10 minutes we'll come back in on at 106 and finish up how about that 10 minute break we're gonna how you see it scan oh boy that ain't it oh well i can get up another day far as the word here we go you ain't got no job You've been sitting up in the house for the last two years. You ain't doing nothing but drinking on the bed, drinking all the food. I go grab my thing. coffee. Got me talking crazy. You know what? I got something for you, though. You can suck this. Yeah. Come here. And watch me. Some grown men to the end. You're dealing with some grown men with dividends. You're dealing with some grown men. We all in. You're dealing with some grown men. Let's take a spin. Who was that you say who can't get paid today? Make a better way through the tracks. Our leaders debate. Blow it and blazed up in your face while you may see us up on front page. Grace, what do you say? We pay blood, time, pain, and the mind just to make sure you don't step out of line. We find paving up on the infinite grind. Not trying, but striving, increasing our shine. A lot of conversations appear from the music industry to want to break into the world of tech and investing. But one thing I noticed that's a common trend is every time we talk about investing, someone will always mention how risky it is. I'm not going to sit here and act like there aren't risks associated with investing. 
But I find it to be ironic because as long as I was running around the music industry, I don't recall ever having someone say that something was risky. I'm just saying, if you were to put fifty thousand dollars worth of jewelry on your neck and walk around with it, no one would really tell you that's risky. Believe me, nigga, I'm good. For cheesy, nigga, I'm good. Can't see me, nigga, I'm good. Can't be me. Nigga, I'm good. I know Roosevelt didn't want us to for self. Want us a big for it just like everyone else. Let alone Bush and his whole damn cavalry. The rule of Satan is straight up democracy. Good morning, kids. It is. I like to be, um, I like to join the KKK so I can hang some of these niggers just like my daddy. Okay, boy. I see you have some mental problems. You really don't know if you're straightforward. Um, let's go to the next child that I see here. Um, okay, let's go to you, child. Child, what would you like to be when you grow up? Um. I like to be a dope fellow like my daddy, so I can have a lot of girls and cars and get a lot of nice houses and things of that nature. Okay, John. I see you have. Oh, shit. Mr. Bitter Dope Man. Mr. Bitter Dope Man. Mr. Bitter Dope Man. Mr. Bitter and 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 Dope Man. Nigga, I took your chick, yeah, she coming dope. Fake nigga, don't think she even watching them up. I'm the money maker, real in the ball of field. If you talking about dollars, nigga, I'm the deal. And the brave heart, so it's straight down the kill. If you think not, nigga, then check your bill. I don't give a damn, nigga, you can go for broke. Have your girl on my jock when this album blow. Uh, this is called bitch. Hey, this so there's a dose, and then what they call it? Less a dose? Now, now when I was talking about a car, not no woman, <clears throat> and when I said I told him I wasn't his friend, that's something that we know. He already told you that I'm his cousin, and no, I am not his friend. That's my family. It's a big difference, major difference. Let's keep going. Strikes at 
you with distress. You wanna be power, but don't want that. Now tell me what the hell is wrong with that? But we don't need no powers when we back our backs. We gon' stand for something. No, keep going with that. We gon' give you your powers, cause we done with that. Wanna live in the past? Ain't no bringing this back. Um, let's see what's going on with this black and white here. Check back with the team on that one. Wait a minute, what's going on? My volume didn't disappear for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Let's see here. Well, that's weird. None of these is playing at the moment. I don't know what happened like that earlier, too, so I don't know. Must be having a glitch or something. I'm not for certain. But anyway, it's 106. It's time to get back into it anyway, family. I'll check back into that later. Wouldn't it? It was playing earlier. That's for sure. All you can do, all you have to really do is press the play all right here. And it's going to roll through the whole thing. Play all. Just like that. In a minute, you have them in the, uh, on the albums in a minute. And you can purchase the albums, family. You can purchase the album. I'm sure I, and if you don't want to purchase the album, I ain't got a lot of money. You can, you can purchase a download for it, a one book, 99 cent. Help the brother out, you know. Help me out, man, any kind of way you can. I'm always supporting y'all. Support me. I'm sure I got one song, at least one song on here that you can enjoy and listen to among yourselves. A, a lot of these have cursing in them. I got other ones. But some of these on here are clean. Okay? Understand that? Especially this one right here. <clears throat> it's Godzilla. It's called Godzilla for a reason. <laughs> okay, so let's get on back over here now. And while we're doing that, getting back over there, we're going to give this. <laughs> and everything clean you keep yourself clean you ain't gonna want to be, be around nothing dirty so you're gonna clean up yourself and then you're gonna clean up everything around you then you're gonna be looking outside that's dirty you gotta clean clean up the yard you're gonna look around the community we gotta get this together yep sure do i know i know how to call the city hey you need to come pick this stuff up <laughs> i used to work for the city it was this one lady over there in Mississippi. She called every time she seen seen something out of her front yard. You gotta come pick this up. <laughs> gotta come pick it up. We have to go over there and pick it up too. So yeah, you can keep your community clean. You gotta put them city workers to work. <laughs> and you see them sitting around in the shade somewhere because y'all ain't called them, put them to work. <laughs> For real, you can keep your community clean. All you gotta do is make that phone call down there and speak to their uh supervisor. And let them know you got some look it's been over here for two or three days this sofa over here on the side of the road you need to come on over here and pick it up yep that's right you can keep your community clean by all you by all you have to do is call down to the city and have them come pick it up that's all you have to do you stay on them until they do it they're gonna they're gonna do it and if they and if you got a problem look i already i, I don't work for them so i'm giving you some wisdom here and if they got a problem with it, you call the mayor. <laughs> you call the mayor and, and put in your complaint with the mayor. I guarantee them bad boys. I guarantee them bad boys get out there shade and get over there and pick it up. Okay. So let's get on back into it. Okay. 
Tricks of the trade, baby. Tricks of the trade. And then another friend spoke up and said, if what you tell is true, and it does seem as you have said reasonable, then being so simple, if all men did it, there would not be enough wealth to go around. Wealth grows whatever men exert energy. Arcad replied, if a rich man builds him a new palace, is the gold he pays out gone? Mm -hmm. No, the brick maker has part of it and the laborer has part of it and the artist has part of it and everyone who labors upon the house has part of it. And I bear witness building buildings and houses. You got your, your technicians come out. You got your electricians come out. You got your, your grounds. People come out the late, later ground. Sometimes they had to clean the grounds. You got your sprinkler system guys. You got your alarm system guys. You got your roofers. You got your carpenters. You sometimes you even have your uh, own sheet rocking company. Depend on how big it is. Then you got your ones that lay the flow. Uh, put up the tile and stuff in the bathroom. It's all put up the, the lights, the mirrors, the doors, all playing their part. They get paid and they out. Yet, when the palace is completed, is it not worth all it costs? And is the ground upon which it stands not worth more because it is there? Hmm? And is the ground that adjoins it not worth more because it is there? I don't know why you went around burning up your buildings, riding. No, you should have just went on straight up there to the courthouse. Burning up all your wealth on your land wealth grows in magic ways well we don't own it well you should own it if they ain't put nothing in your community <clears throat> stop drop shut it down open up shop the year the dog stop drop shut them up op open up shop the year of the dog the year of the dog better know it no man can prophesy the limit of it have not the Phoenicians built great cities on barren coast with the wealth that comes from their ships of commerce on the seas. What then do you advise us to do that we also may become rich? This what the this what you youth should be saying to these elders. What do you advise us to do that we may become rich don't go to no dude on the corner now. <laughs> well oh, you can go get some of this whiskey <laughs> you can go get some of this whiskey for me <laughs> no no you go to them, them, them bad boys rolling around in them in them nice cars and suits and things that ain't no drug dealers either well you can sell some of this dope no you I ain't talking about them either okay Acts still another of his friends. The years have passed and we are no longer young men and we have nothing put by. They ain't got no money. They in their 20s. They ain't even they 18 all the way up to 30 past 30. Some of them ain't got nothing, man. Ain't got nothing to show for it, man. It's hard out here. <laughs> It's so hard out here for a black man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I advise that you take the wisdom of Algamish and say to yourselves, a part of all I earn is mine to keep. Get your credit union. I don't even go with them 
bank accounts. People say banks. I like the credit union better. They more independent compared to them banks. Them banks ain't never big bankers, and most of them elites. And they ain't in 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 the in the full picture of it. They ain't got. They ain't trying to give you nothing. Raping the communities. You do as you please. Your choice. A part of all I earn is mine to keep. Say it in the morning when you first arise. Say it at noon. Say it at night. Say it each hour of every day. Everything I earn, a part of it is mine, man. Is mine. Part. That part. Say it to yourself until the words stand out like letters of fire across the sky. Mm. Impress yourself with the idea. Feel yourself with the thought. Feel your cup to the brim. Let the water flow over. The thought flow over and your cup will begin to flow over in the same way when you put that thought to action. Then take whatever portion seems wise. Let it be not less than one tenth and lay it by. Arrange your other expeditures to do this if necessary. But lay by that portion first. <clears throat> Soon you will realize what a rich feeling it is to own a treasure upon which you alone have claim a treasure you want your treasure creating treasure and that treasure creating treasure okay you want that treasure from having some babies now you don't want to just have a baby you want to have you want to have babies and some grandbabies treasures you want you want to have some booming pockets that boom here come the boom as it grows, it will stimulate you. A new joy of life will thrill you. Greater efforts will come to you to earn more. They see you making money. They want to make some money. They're going to show you some ways of making more money. That's going to be attracted to you. But you must be wise, my son. If the man come to you and he is a bricklayer, they're talking about some jewelry mm -mm. if he's an insurance man and he's talking about insurance well you can look into that if he's a uh into digital real estate if he's into making money online and he come to you in ways of making income online well i think you need to look into that if he's in the stock market and he's giving you uh, ways and methods of making money in crypto and bonds and options. Well, uh, I think you need to look into that. Okay. For of your increased earnings, will not the same percentage be also yours to keep? Then learn to make your treasure work for you. Make it your slave. Make its children and its children's children work for you. Ensure an income for your future. I'm talking about you, the future, and you ain't even got no income for the future. Sound like a dead end. Sound like sound like revelations. <laughs> that bad boy talk about I'm the future. <laughs> I'm the future, and ain't and, and, and ain't even saving part of. His earnings for himself sound like revelations. <laughs> you about to get some brimstone. <laughs> sound like sound like you 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 sound like you in Babylon. <laughs> you, you know you in Sodom and Gomorrah somewhere. <laughs> God dang, you better get here and get up out of there, man. Okay. Ensure an income for your future. Look though at the ed, aged. And forget not that in the days to come through also will be numbered 
among them. Therefore, invest your treasure with greatness, with greatest caution, that it be not lost. Usual rates of return are deceitful. Sirens that seem but to lure the unwary upon the rocks of loose and remorse. That's what I was saying earlier. Got to watch out for them deceitful ones. Some scammers out there. Do your research. Do your due diligence in your research. You know, where your resume at, homeboy? He might, he might not even got off the porch. <laughs> that bad boy, that bad boy, he faking and making it, see? No, you don't want no fake it to make it. You you want the you want the real deal. You want a real man. See. Provide also that thy family may not want should the gods call you to their realms. For such protection, that's life insurance. You gotta provide for your family, even if you leave this realm. See. I'm the man. I'm the man of the house. But if you gone tomorrow, you ain't the man no more. Oh, my goodness. You supposed to be able to leave the land, the realm of this world and still be the man of your house. What you know about that. Hmm? Provide also that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Provide also that thy. Family may not want should the gods call you to their realms. For such protection, it is also it, it all is it is always possible to make provision with small payments at regular intervals. Therefore, the provided man delays not an expectation of a large sum becoming available for such a wise purpose. A wise man. Don't delay. With no delay in expecting a large sum by putting a small payment here and there for his departure. I remember asking my uncle one time, I said, um, ain't you gonna, don't you want to leave something for your children? They grown. I ain't, I ain't got to leave nothing for them. They grown. I didn't deal what I'm going to do for them. Man, we had a little argument in that car that day. I remember that. I'm like, man, you supposed to want for your children what you want for yourself. And you should want to be able to leave your children, 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 something that they can have a better, uh, make it easy for them. Well, they grown. They been grown. They just don't want them to do it. You ain't is not they still your children because they didn't became of grown age, they not your children no more. But if but if somebody came and told ask you, hey man, is, is them is that your is that your daughter right there? Yeah, that's my daughter. You claim them then, but when it comes to claiming them to um, maintain them as far as finances after they grown, you don't want to do that. What's what's wrong with that? Counsel with wise men. Seek the advice of men whose daily work is handling money. The ones that be handling the money on a daily basis, you may want to go. You, you need to be pulling up on them bankers. <laughs> you pull up on them bankers, them bad boys up in them in them in them stoves. You know they handling that money all day in your in your neighborhood. You need to pull up on them. Just pull up some, pulling up on these businesses. Look, man, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to explain to us how we can start us a, a, a business o over here. You know, I, there's there's an uh, empty lot right here. You know, an empty building right here next to you. We want you to. Uh, could you teach us how to uh, open this business up for ourselves? And if that bad boy frown at you or give you some um, negative talk. Because you want to go in the business right beside him doing something for your sales or for your purpose to help out your community. Then if he if he got a problem, yeah, he got a problem. He should have a problem. OK. Counsel with the wise men. 
Seek the advice of men whose daily work is handling money. Let them save you from such an error as I myself made in entrusting my money to the judgment of Asmer, the brickmaker. A small return and a safe one is far more desirable than risk. It's better to be safe than sorry. Don't give nobody all your money and don't know if it's going to come back. You got to have some kind of contract or something, man. I'm not about to just give you some money and for you to double it and nothing like that. You ain't got no resume. You ain't got no product. You ain't got no history of already doing this. No, nah, man, uh -uh. you don't do that. You, you can do it with something small. Check it out. You know, like I said, I'll give you $20. To, uh, I'll let you borrow $20. But but if you don't return it, don't expect to get no other twenty dollars. I, I I let you take twenty dollars and know nothing to fuck with you no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After that twenty dollars, whoop! Yeah, man, I need twenty dollars too, man. I got a uh uh, uh I, I even start I start saying the, uh the prices of the bill and stuff. Yeah, man, I need some help on my <laughs> them. They they're gonna be gone. That they be gone for a while after that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. For real. Women too. But a, a even more wiser way, if somebody come to you asking for some money or something, um, put them to work for that money. If you know some skills or something they do, you, they want $20. Well, man, can you cut my grass? <laughs> well, I ain't come over here for all that for the $20. Well, man, I, I need it done, though. <laughs> I need it done. I need you to help me out. You want me to help you, but you want to help me out. Well, I can't help you then. You see? The $20 is going to be yours. You ain't even got to, it's not even borrowed. It's going to be yours. If he can't even do whatever it was for the money, then he don't need it as far as I'm concerned. It must not be that serious. Enjoy life while you are here. Do not overstrain or try to save too much. If one tenth of all you, you earn is as much as you can comfortably keep, be content to keep this portion. Now, let me tell you what the elite do. They don't keep one tenth. They don't keep a quarter. They don't keep 50, half. They keep up to 75% and use the other 25%. You see what I'm saying? That 25% may be like three or four times your whole thing. But that's when you get up there and you can do it. Live otherwise according to your income. And let not yourself get niggerly and afraid to spend. Man, if I spend something, everybody going to know I got some money. Well, if, if you ain't going out there acting like a clown, like you just to rob a bank, <laughs> if you ain't, if you rob yourself, bank, <laughs> you know, if you ain't going out there like you just rob your own bank <laughs> and, and buy some big out the blue, like, God dang, dude, where you get that money from? You know what I'm saying? Now, you can save up for it like that, but, you know, they be, you know, hey, man, I've been saving up for, it, you know. That's that's what it is. I still got my other bank, but I ain't telling you about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you just go spending crazy and stuff. And you know, this dude been, you know, he ain't had all the he been faking the funk. He's been real about it, but all of a sudden he got all this stuff. <laughs> Robbing your own bank. And your babies, so your babies can't have babies. You depopulating your own dollar babies in the bank. Going extinct going going savage spending just throwing money in the air man i don't see why you throwing money in the air and you know that's part of your goddamn 10 percent you throwing in there it really should be 50 75 so if you ain't got that other 25 throwing the air you don't need to be throwing nothing in the air okay don't let them fool you enjoy life while you are here do not overstrain or try to save too much if one tenth of all you earn is as much as you can comfortably keep be content to keep this portion live otherwise 
according to your income and let yourself get do not let yourself get niggly and afraid to spend that's how some of these old folks is they just got the money in the bank i uh, i done seen a, one, one lady she had her whole mattress was nothing but money man <clears throat> just saving her money she was over there living in a broke down house and just and, and when she passed away she had a mattress full of money ain't that that ain't no way to, live, to die man don't even know who gonna get the money that's just messed up life is good and life is rich with things worthwhile and things to enjoy his friends thanked him and went away some see his friends this is what you're supposed to do with your friends I ain't just talking about no man jordan man you know what the homeboy did last night on the court man he was dipping man you see the playoffs man no nah, this is the type of talk you need you talk about some men things too you can put that sport and play that's 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 really that's boy talk when you start talking about money to maintain yourself your family your community and even possible the world that's me and talk okay there's a big difference all that sport and play ain't ain't solving no problems and your for yourself your family or your community waste don't waste too much time on it it's all right to talk about a little while whatever but you got to learn how to talk that men talk when you among men if you ain't among men and you just around boys then you need to uh, open up your circle and get some men in your in your circle you you don't want to talk about money how to make money how to invest money how to make your money make more money and that money make more money that's men talk okay too much of this boy talk out here some were silent because they had no imagination and could not understand some were sarcastic because they thought that one so rich should divide with with old friends not so fortunate but some had in their eyes a new light look at that he was telling all of them some of them silent because they had no they they just didn't understand it at the moment it ain't it ain't click yet it ain't click it kind of slow slowness sorry slowness got got torque a little bit speech up you need a couple more um programs uh, upgrades you know get out of that bits era get you some of these tvs you know may he made me about four it didn't get about four five of them he become faster than all of them see memory may be a little bit too slow you need to slow down on that <laughs> slowing down your memory you know <laughs> you, you can get in a little bit too you too high in the cloud right now you need to come on down a little bit some were sarcastic because they thought that one so rich should divide with old friends look man no nah, man i got the same amount of time that you got on the planet i had to sacrifice my tent you can sacrifice yours i was a man about mine i didn't go blow mine like a boy like you did it ain't no way in hell to give you my fortune because you jacked off yours when you could have been preserving it and saving it for something good see you went jackalating it off on some trash see something that ain't worth nothing see because you ain't got nothing to show for it. you you used it and, and threw it away hello you should have saved it for something good that'll bring you some babies and bring you some more babies but you i ain't tell you to go over there jacking it off everywhere don't know where it's at <laughs> you know what i'm saying you might have jacked it off on yourself which is stupid and get no babies from it <laughs> oh boy i cracked myself up let's keep going but some had in their eyes a new light it was beaming man they realized that algamish had come back each time to the room of the scribes because he was watching a man work his way out of darkness into light 
when that man had found the light, a place awaited him. He's seeing this place. Oh, man, ain't nothing going to be able to hold me back from it. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. Man, you got to be crazy. You think I'm going to fall for that now. It's over. Game over. I ain't got time for that. You ain't, you, ain't, you, you don't know nothing. Come on, man. Give me something I can uh, to, to get some ups on, make some babies with, with this dollars, man. I ain't making no babies with that, man. I'm about to ejaculate all my time on some sports and play. They realized that Algamish had come back each time to the room of the scribes because he was watching a man work his way out of darkness into light. When the man had found the light, a place awaited him. No one could feel that place until he had for himself, work out his own understanding. You're going to have to go through your own trials. You're going to have to go through your own tribulations. You're going to have to go through your own maneuvers to figure it out, to get up out of it. But you got the answer. You got the path. You got the formula. Okay? Until he was ready for opportunity. Don't be unprepared for opportunity because, you know, Call her Hasa Diddy all you want, but you just ain't prepared, you know. I'm out here jogging, in shape, looking good, sweating, and, and, and everything, jiggling and things somewhere. Somewhere it's going to jiggle. And then you wonder why I just passed you up. You ain't prepared all that flab. <laughs> you all that flab ain't no muscle. I don't see no tone. I don't see nothing. <laughs> you ain't even walking. You just sitting there talking about come here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't prepared. These later, these latter were the ones. You got to be the one. You want to be number one? You got to prepare yourself to be number one. So if you prepare yourself to be number one, when the time come, the opportunity come, don't be surprised. You become number one. OK, that's all I got to say on that. They may see you at the bottom. You know, they may not even see you in action, but you're preparing in the darkness. See, you're getting ready because when I because when opportunity come through. Look, baby, I'm number one. Look, look, hey, 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 hey. she going to stop. She's she going to stop and recognize you. You is number one, baby. You is the one. OK, what what do you need? Because I'm I am here to satisfy you. I am here to please you, baby. OK, you don't let opportunity get past you. You got to prepare for that. If you want to be number one, you wonder why they number one. I am number one, no matter what, because he was preparing. He, he had a whole team, the lunatics and everything. I know the history. That bad boy is writing, going in there and everything. But when the time came, he had more uh, songs and stuff together compared to the rest of his team. They was over there lagging. You know, they wasn't prepared, you know. And what happened? He went to number one. I am number one. No matter what, better, 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 better. You know what I'm saying? That's why he was prepared. Opportunity came through. It was like, hey, hey. Hey, baby, come here. I'm kneeling. And she was like, okay. See? That's how I became number one. <laughs> yeah, see what I'm saying? In, in many occasions, because I prepare myself for the opportunity. You know, I don't even need five minutes, baby. Just give me a second. <laughs> Just give me a second, baby, and I'm going to show you something. Okay. See? That's, that's you got to be ready for, man. I'm I'm the man. I'm number one because I prepare. Are you talking about you number one? You the man and you ain't prepared a dang thing. It don't make no sense. I don't see how it's going to happen. <laughs> you must be praying on a mystery God, because that one, you're going to be just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? These latter were the ones who in the following years frequently revisited arcade. 
hey, don't be surprised you keep breaking records when you're prepared. Don't be surprised you keep being at the top of things when you're prepared. Who received them gladly. He counseled with them and gave them freely of his wisdom as men of broad experience are always glad to do. They're always there on Instagram. They're always there. They're, where they at? They there. They're always there. But you ain't never there. <laughs> you best to get on board, man. They're always there. Women too. They're always there on Instagram, on the TikTok, on the YouTube, and all these other social medias. Where you at? You up in there with sports. You up in there with the basketball. You over there uh, with the twerking. You over there dancing. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with the dance. You're going to make some money off of it, okay? Yeah. You know, for real. And with the sports, too, if, if you, you know, you, you're preparing yourself. I mean, but you you 64 years old. Well, I ain't going to even give you that. You, you 34 years old, out of shape, ain't even on the basketball court. But you all up on the court. You all up in, you all up in, all up under, um, all up in LeBron's butt. Look, see, man, he should have did this. Uh, see, I ain't like how he did that. I don't know why he went down there, you know. Burns, you talking about he the king. He ain't the king. He ain't the man. Such and such the man, man. He, you know, I don't like the team. You know what I'm saying? You 34 years old, all up in everybody, but on that boy stuff, see? We see you today. Yeah, we see you. You, you, you right there. Yeah, that, there you go. Right there. He counseled with them. And gave them freely of his wisdom as men of broad experience are always glad to do. And he assisted them in so investing their savings that it should bring in a good interest with safety. And would neither be lost nor entangled in investments that paid no dividends. You don't want to have your money tied up or something. You ain't getting no money out of it. That don't make no sense. I got some stocks. You got some stocks? Yeah, man. Where is it? It's just going down, you know. <laughs> well, just keep it in there now. Cause <laughs> you take it out, you really going to be in a loss. Son. But you, you want to put your money in, in some investments that you're going to see some kind of income. You know, you, you can keep them investments. They may be down today. They'll be up tomorrow, hopefully. You know, just don't take it out. You can put more in it while it's down. So when it come back up, you have even more because you're getting it on a discount. See, you got money there. Yeah, that's down. But it's like you got a whole nother bucket you put in at that at that price. And when that price go up, that bucket going to get bigger. See, and that other bucket that you got in there, it's going to come back. It's coming back. It's filling back up. OK. And then when that's filled up and the other bucket is already going up, then when it goes into the green, you got all that money from the second bucket just falling over and your other bucket is starting to flow over see okay get it the turning point in these men's lives came upon that day when they realized the truth that had come from Algamish to Arcad and from Arcad to them Look, see, that's a community. The old man gave the wisdom to that man, and that man gave it to his friends. That's how you build a community. See, when the old man don't tell the other man and keep it to himself, that's how you start to get ghettos. And when the old man tell the, the other man and he don't tell his friends, that start ghettos. But when the old man tell the other man, the other man tell his friends all that want to know and don't want to know or who can't get it or just want to get the shortcut without doing nothing. Tell all of them. See, he told all of them. That's how you build a community. A part of all you earn is yours to keep. Remember that a part of all you earn is yours to keep. And with that being stated, family, 
you have made it to the end. Almost three in. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot out of it. I'm sure you did because I'm even learning a lot out of it. <clears throat> even in just, just, it's, it's just how you learn a lot, man, though. It helps with the tweaking and twerking. It's like you already going to Mars <laughs> and, and just those little fine tunes. It's going to make the landing even smoother, baby. Smoother. Don't need no mistakes landing. The rover, okay? You want one mistake. <laughs> one mistake in the bad boy guy. Dang, we're back to the drawing board. So it makes the landing even smoother. Matter of fact, I got a helicopter on this one. <laughs> so I'm going to be able to fly up and check out some things. That's what I'm talking about. All right there, family. Till next time. Peace. <laughs>